Can the NEO blockchain compete with Ethereum? There's no doubt that Ethereum is the most popular choice when it comes to blockchains. Ain't no question about it. And even though many have tried it, only a few blockchains have been able to compete with Ethereum, with NEO adding to the never-ending list of Ethereum competitors. NEO in its most basic form is a blockchain platform that makes it easier to turn traditional assets into digital assets and smart contracts. Click the link in the description to check out our intensive crypto course to get up to speed. The NEO platform, like Ethereum, uses two different tokens. The first of which goes by the name NEO, and the second by the name NEO Gas. Both tokens have specific uses on the NEO platform, as you'll learn in this video. So without further ado, let's get this NEO party started. What is NEO? Basically, NEO is a blockchain developed to digitize assets and identities in an attempt to create a smart economy, where these identities and assets will be seen as a way to make everyone's lives easier in the digital world. Identities enable verifiable information about participating parties and organizations, digitally of course, securing that information through blockchain consensus and encryption. NEO uses the public key infrastructure created to manage these identities by creating public and private keys to verify using multi-factor authentication, such as facial recognition, fingerprints, voice, and SMS. The main goal of the first wave of cryptocurrencies was to build a free-flowing global virtual currency, but when the second generation rolled around like replacing your old Honda Accord with an Acura TLX, it took cryptocurrencies one step further by creating products and services that have the potential to challenge some of the world's largest corporations. NEO and Ethereum are both a part of that second generation, and all these cryptos predict that smart contracts will be the backbone of blockchain technology in the future. NEO was originally known as Antshares when it was founded in 2014 by Da Hun Fei and Eric Zhang. The Anshares team raised about 6,100 Bitcoin in a token sale worth about $160 million back in 2014. And it wasn't until 2016 that the company changed Anshares tokens to NEO, probably because ants didn't sound as cool as NEO from the Matrix. But that probably wasn't as smart as NEO dodging bullets because when they held a second token sale, they only managed to raise about $8 million when they released the entire supply of NEO currencies. But this time around, it wasn't too much about raising money for the currency, but more about offering services to other people. So the NEO supply was split in half, with half going to the token sale participants and the other half going to NEO developers, a community fund, and investments in other projects. This time, their goal was cold hard development, much like Tezos. Click on the banner to check out our video on that too. What makes it worth your time and money? Well, like Ethereum, NEO also uses two unique assets to power its network. But there's a catch. It doesn't charge transaction fees like Ethereum. So the NEO network can expand more consistently and can already process up to a thousand transactions per second. NEO describes itself as a huge distribution network that operates in a so-called smart economy. The term smart economy refers to digital assets that have a special status in the digital world which are supported by smart contracts. NEO uses the delegated Byzantine fault tolerant protocol to do this. It's a pretty unique consensus algorithm that operates similarly to the popular proof of stake protocol that Ethereum is going to shift to pretty soon. You might have noticed that every cryptocurrency has a consensus algorithm at its core. Like the proof of work protocol used by Bitcoin, which is extremely energy intensive, but translates to poor transaction fees when compared to other methods. NEO's delegated Byzantine fault tolerance or DBFT is a custom consensus protocol developed by the network, which has its own specific process. Here's how it works. Every NEO holder is entitled to one vote, so NEO holders transmit their transactions to the consensus nodes, who then group them together into a block. This vote can then be used to elect a consensus node, which is in charge of maintaining the blockchain. After that, a consensus node is picked at random to validate the most recent block and to distribute the block's ledger to all other consensus nodes on the network. The block is then closed if at least 66% of the nodes agree. Finally, a separate consensus node is picked and requested to submit its own block for verification if less than 66% consensus is attained. Then the process is repeated. It's pretty complicated and not what people are used to, but let's not go too deep into it because neither you nor us are in need of a nap right now. I mean, if I had to go into it, it would be talking about the technical terms like such as... See what I'm saying? NEO is pretty famous in China and it's even called the Chinese Ethereum because it offers a trustworthy, secure and open platform for asset digitization. This helps in removing the expenses and unnecessary middlemen and protocols involved with digitization. 
Does all that translate to NEO being a good investment though? Let's find out. Is NEO a good investment? Well, since NEO has attracted a number of popular investors like Alchemy Pay and Shopify, it's probably got to have something good going for it, don't you think? Reduced gas prices, superior blockchain technology, broad language support and interoperability are just a few of its many attractive features. What do you look for in a cryptocurrency? Let us know in the comments below. NEO might not seem as attractive as that girl you saw at your local coffee shop last week, but its price will probably rise after more people start using it. NEO should be the ideal investment choice to hold onto for the long term if it can accomplish the aims, objectives, and features that it has set out to achieve. When comparing NEO and Ethereum, both use programming languages to create smart contracts. The dividing line is that Ethereum uses its own native programming language called Solidity. While NEO smart contracts can be written in either C Sharp, Java, or Python, which developers are usually familiar with. This enables NEO users to hire a developer for more projects that don't just rely on Solidity, and that developer will also be able to create smart contracts on their own. If you compare this to Ethereum, an Ether user has to hire someone just to build smart contracts. With that out of the way, it's time to see how NEO is made since, unlike most cryptos such as Bitcoin, you can't mine NEO. So how do you do it? How NEO is made. NEO is developed by its community, like the majority of cryptocurrencies. But NEO, in comparison to the majority of other cryptocurrencies, is built on the delegated Byzantine proof of stake principle rather than the more conventional proof of stake or proof of work approaches. Most of you who are familiar with Bitcoin know that they are made when crypto miners use ASICs to solve complicated transactions that add new blocks to the network. After that, they receive a Bitcoin reward. It's like doing chores and getting paid for it, except these chores are advanced puzzles that need to be solved. In contrast to Bitcoin, where users are rewarded for using their computers to process transactions, NEO users are paid based on the number of coins they own. This way, each NEO coin works as a kind of blockchain share. But like all cryptocurrencies, NEO will typically move in sync with the rest of the market. This means NEO and other altcoins will suffer if the price of Bitcoin drops because traders would panic and try to sell off their assets to avoid losing money. So it's not a solid investment. Bitcoin is still king and drives the market. Sorry, Cardano holders. Media attention also plays a major role in NEO's price. As with any cryptocurrency, hype can really drive a market. For example, NEO could only be purchased on Bittrex when it first made the news. Because of the large number of people wanting to buy it, the price skyrocketed. Any price increase brought on by the news often experiences a period of correction as traders take profits and the token value declines. Also, China has the largest user base for NEO. This means that news from that area has a strong impact on the currency. If you're interested in trading NEO, you should follow Chinese developments and any upcoming Chinese government laws. You should expect a big value hike if NEO ever comes into a partnership with the Chinese government. When compared to other currencies from the top 100, the NEO currency showed strong growth in 2021. The coin had a price of $14.5 at the beginning of January, and when the price was at its highest in May, it was almost worth $120. If you compare it to how it is now though, one NEO coin is worth $8.94 at the time of filming this in September 2022. By the end of this year, according to Wallet Investor, the price of NEO could fluctuate between $8 and $31. Alternatively, coin price forecast predicts that by the end of 2022, the price of NEO will reach $11.26. So in terms of an investment, you're probably going to have to toss a coin for the future because it won't be very profitable this year at least. Conclusion. Since its launch in 2017, the NEO blockchain platform has had its fair share of volatility and problems in growth, probably because it's highly centralized and has strong ties with China and the Chinese government. At the time of filming this, NEO ranks 64th in the cryptocurrency market, offering a range of unique characteristics in its ecosystem, including its smart contract and dApp development features, which are similar to Ethereum's. These characteristics improve NEO's status by generating extra use cases for its blockchain, including commerce, data exchange, and DeFi applications. By enhancing the usability of NEO and attracting new investors, these features might lead to major network enhancement all around. Overall, NEO isn't something you should be sleeping on, but keep in mind that it's not decentralized, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being a cryptocurrency. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Please leave a comment below to tell us what you think about NEO.